Today we're gonna talk about an add-on that saves you both time and power. In terms of functions, it is a simple one, but in terms of benefits, it may surprise you, especially when working on some heavy projects which makes Blender go nuts. This free add-on is called Power Save, and after getting an idea about what it does, you will probably find it very useful. The add-on actually organizes different project versions by gathering many of the Blender default operations in just one tab. This combination of functions serves as a shortcut of the process and makes it faster. After installing the add-on, a red lightning bolt icon will pop up on the header. When you open it, you will find several buttons. First, we have Power Save, which is for activating the add-on, and after clicking it, the red icon turns into green. There is also a space just under it, which is empty by default, but it will be automatically filled by the saving folder direction which is already set on the preference parameters. We also have the arrows, one takes you back to the previous version of the same project while the other takes you to the next one. Now, if you want to save your files manually, you can click on the power save button again. And each time you do that, an incremental save process will happen by adding a new number to the end of the file's name. We also have autosave. By checking it, you command Blender to automatically save your files. The autosave interval is the time that Blender takes between two save processes. You can also choose the type of operation. We have our write to override over the original file, extension as an extension to your file's name, and we have suffix which adds a suffix to your Blender file, and custom which saves it in a custom file which is set on the preferences parameters. There are also other options, but they are less important, and these are Toggle Auto Pack and Purge Orphans. Also, please note that the green color in the icon means that your file is saved. Gray means saved but without modifications. In addition to that, the same options are accessible on the end panel under a tab that is named Power Save. On the Preferences tab, there are some presets to change if you need to, like custom file direction, the add-ons icon appearance, in addition, the add-ons and the autosaves names and the base folder. The base folder is not the same for all the projects, so you don't have to reset each time you start a new project. Overall, this add-on is great for saving time because you will avoid some repetitive tasks like searching for the files direction to open different versions of your project. Also, you will need it to save projects quickly and you will be able to control your project's autosave settings directly without going to the preference tab each time. The other thing that the add-on helps you with is Blender crashing issues. Since your project will be saved automatically and by checking that option, your work won't be lost easily. The thing is, this add-on is based on already existing operations, so why do you need it? In Blender, these functions are located in different areas, and because they are related to each other, you will need to work on several workspaces and collect them in one interface. This is what the add-on does, and it offers it on one tab, which makes it more like an all-in-one tool. If you are interested in this free add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to stay updated with the latest news of add-ons, courses, and updates of other 3D software, and you don't want to miss that. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.